Manfred is gutting out the squirrel. Today we are talking about some of the do's and don'ts of playing with your puppy. The way we play with our puppy a lot of times can enforce or prevent certain behaviors that we don't want. So I'm going to get started. I got Barney right here. He's already all excited to play and I got Manfred as well. One of the common things, one of the most common mistakes we make is actually this what I'm doing right now is, you know, we put the toy up above them and, you know, because we don't want to bend down or it's just easier for us to make it up higher for them. Um, and this is a mistake because what are we doing? We're teaching the dog to jump up basically to get the things that they want. And instead, when we're playing with our puppies, we want to keep low to the ground. So actually, I'm going to move the camera so you can see better. So when we play with our puppies, we want to try and keep the toy on the ground most of the time. We don't want them to learn that they need to jump up in order to get the toys that they want or the things that are valuable to them. Um, so always have the toy down and low on the ground, move it around, and refrain from you know doing this kind of motion, picking it up. Another really um, important thing is that when you're playing, especially with a puppy because they have that tendency to bite and nip at you, is that you always want to have a toy in your hand. You know, we get frustrated sometimes when, you know, we're playing with our puppy and they keep biting our hands, but you just play with your hands like this, right? You're moving your hands around their face and, you know, you're playing around with them, you know, tickling and stuff. And of course they're going to bite you because you didn't give them anything to bite except your hands. So always, always, always have a toy in your hands when you're playing with them. And if they're not that interested in that certain toy, don't shove it in their face. They always want to be running after something. It's part of their instinct to chase things that are moving. So try and have the toy, you know, run away as opposed to saying like, this is your toy, play with it, and shove it in their face. Um, so as you see, I'm here just moving around and he's definitely interested in catching it. Um, and you always just keep it low. Now another really, really cool hack that is really simple but you know not often thought about is when we're playing with our dogs, we never want to chase the dog. So whenever we're playing games like catch or you know tag, we don't ever want to be like, the one to go after the dog and expect them to run away because it's going to happen one day when you actually need to get your puppy and you go towards them they're going to run away because that basically make that basically turns us going towards them into a game which we don't want so instead you always want to be the one to run away and have them chase you so you always want to be the one that they go after They'll never become used to running away from you. They'll always be the one going towards you. Keep that in mind whenever you're playing with your puppy to not chase them. Always let them chase you. Now, what do we do when puppies start to bite us? So remember, puppies, all dogs are attracted to motion. Things that are moving, Things that kind of squeal or high pitch, those are the things that excite them, get them kind of wanting to, to get that thing. So if a puppy bites you, even if it didn't really hurt, what you need to do is stop moving. So doing this whole, ow, oh, that hurts, stop that, you know, moving your hands up like that, that just looks more exciting. It looks like you're playing with them. Of course, they're going to keep doing that because it looks like you're enjoying yourself. Instead of flailing your hands around in order to kind of get them to stop, you want to stop moving. So if your puppy starts to bite you, or anyone won't bite me, I don't think, but if you, you just say, ow! And you stop for a second. You look at them in the eyes, you just give a sharp ow. It doesn't need to be like a ah! 
but one sharp ow is good enough. So if your puppy bites you, you stop moving. You give a strong ow. Stop. Don't pull your hands away or anything. Just don't move. Look at your puppy in the eyes and just count to three. And then you move on and continue to play with them. And we do this because that's actually how puppies learn how to play when they're with each other, when they're in their litter. You know, they're kind of playing and, and if they bite one of their brothers and sisters too hard, the other one yelps. And that's how they learn like, oh, okay, that was too hard. We don't do that. So you guys, you have to kind of communicate with them like the dogs would understand. So again, if you're playing with them and here, I'm going to try and put this back at the squirrel. So if I'm playing with them and they kind of bite my hand with the toy, you just stop and you say, ow. You look at them, see, so he's not looking, he, they're not going to bite it if it's not moving because it's not interesting anymore. And then, yes, I forgive you. And then you can start moving it again. So we don't hold grudges because they bit you or say, you know, that hurt, whatever. Um, you kind of just move on. So these are some really useful tips that will help you um, and your puppy have a great time together when you're playing and enjoy it more. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I've got a lot of things in my head that I would love to share with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.